my name is Bill and welcome to my new crypto. Today we have Store J daily update. Let's see that crypto where it can go to because it has a significant pump in which we need to observe the exact price targets. So you won't have to worry about anything. Here is what I'm trying to provide on my new crypto, the exact price targets. When I was trading back then in my old days, I couldn't find um, YouTube videos that were saying the exact price targets and went buy, went to sell. I was always finding that it could be possible that it goes there, could be possible that it goes down, but without the targets, right? That's what we need to know right now. What is Storage Day is going to do? So basically, I'm going to the weekly scale for those that want to invest in Storage Day. Then I'm moving forward to the daily frame and going back down to the lower time frames to see what it will do in the shorter time frames. So if you're interesting, interested only in the shorter time frames, then be sure to check only the later uh, or part of the video, right? Right now, we are going to discuss the weekly scale. And before we continue, do not forget to join our monthly subscription and the free Telegram group chat. Thank you for watching. Have a fantastic day. Let's start. So Store J, what can it go? What can it do in the weekly scale? If you can see that we had something very, very interesting, the next bullish RSA divergences, one, two, three, starting from the December 2022, right? Crazy stuff going on, lower highs, higher lows on the RSI. This is why potentially right now we are going higher. And the main thing right now we need to discuss is this one. If we close above the 0.3890 around there, I guess that in the weekly scale, just get into store J and do not and forget what happens into the next few hours to the next few days. Just buy in, right? If we do not and we get rejected, wait a little bit, I will be making an update. That's all for the weekly scale. We have nothing much to discuss because the next target would be the case that it goes back up to the 0 0.60, 0 0.80 maybe, and so on. We will see that. Now let's go to the daily frame. Into the daily frame, we have a very huge risk. And this is the most worrying part for the store day. The very, very nice risk that we are having back here in the daily frame. And this is where I want to stand out. So basically what that means is that by the end of the week, we might not close above the 0.3890s, right? Okay, so depending on what are we going to do, we might be having a correction. And now into the 4-hour frame, impulsive wave in the 4-hour frame, we are riding the 20-day and the 50-day MA for now, and in the 4-hour frame, we do not run a significant risk. So basically, into the today and maybe tomorrow, we are going to see more pump coming in for store day, and after Tomorrow, for example, on Thursday or maybe on Friday, we might be having a correction. This is what I'm trying to say right now, that we are going to have a pump and then we might be having a correction. Right now, we think that Store J could be on the case to go to the point 46. I think that the next target right now is a point 46. You can buy until then, but after that, be a little bit careful as we might have a correction. We will see about that though. You can buy in for the lower time frames. The daily frame sounds risky. So the next couple of four or five days, be careful. And the weekly scale is looking good only if we close above the point 38.90. Okay, so this is it for Store J. Do not forget to join our monthly subscription. And of course, join our free Telegram group chat. Links in the description box and in the comment section only because on Telegram, we have many imposters, many group chats that it is not mine. Okay, they are not mine. Thank you and see you soon. Bye.